Hi Peoria, I'm Renee Kerrigan, Curator of Science at the Peoria Riverfront Museum. And I'm Nick Ray, also at the Peoria Riverfront Museum. Today we're about uh, four miles west of the museum at a nature park called Rocky Glen. And we're here to explore an ancient geologic wonder that was carved at the end of the last ice age about 20,000 years ago. We're going to be exploring some of the trails and looking at some of the signage here at Rocky Glen. This wonderful park wouldn't have been possible without the Friends of the Rocky Glen organization who worked really hard to create this park working with the Peoria Park District. So here we are overlooking Rocky Glen or a narrow valley. This valley was formed by the little tiny Kickapoo Creek. I'm sure you've seen Kickapoo Creek driving around uh, this area. It seems like it's all over the place. It formed this valley in a method similar to how the Kankakee Torrent formed the Illinois River long, long ago. Yeah, about uh, 20,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, there were huge sheets of ice that stretched all the way down from Canada, all the way to Peoria. And that ice and the rocky debris they brought with them blocked the Kickapoo Creek and actually created a dam so the Kickapoo Creek built up into a long, narrow Kickapoo Lake until eventually it burst through the dam and a torrent of floodwaters came rushing through what is now Rocky Glen, carving out and exposing the ancient bedrock, which we're gonna go explore now. Now here we are at the bottom of the Glen. We're standing in this beautiful valley that was carved out when glacial waters burst through the moraine, the dam the glacier had formed about 20,000 years ago. And it's really beautiful down here. So now we can see all the exposed bedrock that's underlying Illinois. This is rock that formed from sediment, sand and mud that was deposited in an ancient shallow sea. And this is all over Illinois because Illinois used to be beneath a shallow sea near the equator about 300 million years ago. And one of the reasons we know that is because we have exposed bedrock like this where we can go look at the rocks and look at the fossils. So we're surrounded now by ancient bedrock from a time when Illinois was completely covered by a shallow ocean. If you make the trek down to Rocky Glen, after you see the beautiful valley, if you walk in the other direction, you'll come to an old coal mine. There used to be hundreds of active coal mines along the banks of Kickapoo Creek. And if you come out here near the entrance, you can still find coal lying around all over the place. This is left over from hundreds of millions of years ago. After the ocean had retreated, Illinois became a swampland and some of the plants in that swamp got buried and eventually crushed uh, under enormous pressure into coal. So that's where all the coal comes from that we have in Illinois, which was once the top producer in the United States of coal, is from the ancient swamplands of Illinois hundreds of millions of years ago. Well, I hope you enjoy learning some of the geology here in Rocky Glen, and hopefully you get a chance to visit it in person yourself sometime. And thank you museum members and Visionary Society members for supporting the Peoria Riverfront Museum.